So last October, I tore out this tree. That's this big hole right here. And I had this all cleaned up and this thing has grown up that much. It's about two and a half feet tall since October. So all throughout the lawn, the suckers come up into the lawn and they are everywhere. So if you can see right here, the lawn is damaged right there. I had some suckers coming up and I tore up the lawn to, and pulled the roots out. And you can see the evidence of the roots right there. So this little piece right here, this is a hard nodule. And I, I guess that's what you call it, I don't know. It's part of the suckers from those cottonwood trees. Those things just send out their roots and then they spring up kind of everywhere. Those trees have come up there and I have had enough. So I'm gonna kill the roots and then I'm gonna kill these trees as well. My wife said I could do it even though she just came out side now and said, do not do it. But she likes them for the shade. I hate them because of all the mess that they create. So this is what I'm gonna use to kill them, okay? I'm gonna use the crossbow to kill them and I'm gonna use the chainsaw. So I'm going to cut a little pocket into the tree all around and then spray the crossbow in there straight. So high output chemical sprayer that I picked up from the home Santa. So I'm gonna just pour some of this crossbow in there. This has an active ingredient of triclopyr and 2,4-D. I think, hopefully I can do this without spilling on the lawn. If I spill this on the lawn, it'll likely kill it. This stuff is 2,4-D and triclopyr, 16.5%. I'm gonna take the chainsaw, cut into it, so I can kind of expose the, the root, and I'm gonna spray it in there straight, and then hopefully it will feed into the root and kill the root and hopefully get the tree, so. There, so see that root? Just gonna take this, just gonna spray it in there, just like that. Hopefully that thing will go right into the root and kill it. So there's that one. I've got a couple more. I'm just gonna go around and spray those as well. So here, you can see the root right there. Just gonna kinda spray it in there, like that. And then hopefully, That'll go down into the root. So there we go. I've got about 10 or 12 of these little places that have exposed the roots. It should be fresh. So I'm just gonna go around and spray them all. There are quite a few areas where the roots are exposed. I'm gonna put a little bit more in there. Probably be doing this on the dirt, not on the lawn. So this stuff's called Crossbow. Got this from Do My Own. This is a gallon version. It's supposed to be some good stuff. Here, I'm just gonna spray this one, just like that. This guy. Sprayed this little guy with Roundup here, and you can see, that guy kind of got stunted, but it didn't kill it. Hopefully, with a heavy dose there, that will take care of that guy. So you can see that these things are everywhere. The sucker's there, sucker's gonna come up right here. Got all these roots coming up all over. Don't wanna get any onto this tree, because I do wanna keep that tree. That is a desirable tree that I actually planted. I did spray this whole dirt section with uh, Roundup, because I'm going to eventually plant this grass seed. As you can see, I sprayed this with Roundup and it kind of stunted it. I sprayed all this with Roundup and I even sprayed the tree and I sprayed some leaves on the tree. That didn't seem to work. So I'm going to go with this route and spray the triclopyr or the crossbow in the tree. I'm just going to spray down in there and then it should just sit in there. So I just want to get that down in there and I don't want it to come out. We call this the hack and squirt method. You hack it with a chainsaw or with a, an ax, and then you squirt it. Fill up the hole. So I do wonder if this is gonna work. I do have my doubts, but I trust the guy who told me that this would work. So I guess we'll go from there and see what happens. 
Spray this guy. Spray the back side of this guy. So this guy I cannot have there because I want to turn that into parking and I don't want the tree coming up in my parking lot. Here's the old root right here. The old tree. I'm gonna cut into this guy, cut into this guy. So as you can see, that uh, chain is dull. I put it in the dirt. Don't wanna do that with the chainsaw. So this is hard to do. It's hard to kill a tree like this. But I've had enough. And the dang things have tortured me for too many freaking years. So anywhere I see these, these suckers or these, these plants coming up right here, I'm spraying them. So there is definitely no shortage of places to spray with this stuff. These things are everywhere. So I'm hoping I see success with this. I don't know how long it's gonna take. I would like I was saying, it's probably gonna be about three or four days and then I'm gonna come out here and see dead spots all over the lawn and probably places where I tracked it on my feet and it's just footprints and it's probably gonna look pretty bad over here. But like I said, it's a small sacrifice to make for the long-term goodness of the lawn and the cottonwood. If you guys have cottonwood trees, you know exactly what I'm talking about with the suckers coming up. The backyard is way worse than here in the front. Uh, here I've kind of managed it, pulling up the roots. I've done a video or two showing me pull those roots up. But So that's going to be it for this video. I will come back here in a few days and show you the results. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. So today is July 20th. I've been gone for a couple days, and I came home, and now I just want to see the state of these trees. So it looks like the crossbow has done its work. You can see this. See, those are crunchy. This tree here, this tree here, and that tree right there. Those are the three trees that I sprayed the crossbow on. And it looks to me like they're pretty crispy. You can see there that they're looking crispy. It's kind of secretly hoping that it'll hit, hit those trees as well, but it doesn't look like it's affected the trees over there. I also have all these brown dead spots in the lawn where I use the chainsaw to dig it up and find feeder roots. And hopefully I was able to poison those as well, get those out of my life. I can see that a little bit of poison got to this tree. You can see this little, uh, some of this damage right here on the leaf ends. Got a bunch of leaves that are um, dying and, ooh, I wonder if I got this tree a little bit too. Ooh, that's nasty. What was that? So see all that, those crystal looking things? on the underside of that leaf right there. And then this little piece of something, it's a bunch of sap on there. See that? Yeah, that's gross. You can see on this tree a fair number of places where the leaves kind of look like they are shriveled up a little bit. See this right here? See that leaf, how it's kind of shriveled up and it's got that sugary looking, the sugary looking crystals. Not sure if that came from the crossbow or not. I just wanted to save these trees. I did not want those to die. So the crossbow did work. I'm happy with the results. I just hope that the feeder roots in the lawn are dead as well. So within a month or three, I will come out here and cut these down. So once I can get this project done, I've got the paver stones here. And so once I can get that done, I've been gone, haven't been able to spend any time on it. Once I get that done, I can come over here and grade this and make this nice. I'll take out the trees and fill it in with topsoil and grade it to a nice elevation to make it look nice. So, holy crap. So look at those flower, those beds right there. Those beds are looking awesome. Got a beautiful color to them. Got lots of annuals in the beds, lots of color. It looks really, really good. I'm really happy with that. Got a couple of dahlias over here. 
they're just about ready to go this one is beautiful so we'll see if that one really is beautiful beautiful so I've got several of them they're about ready to spring forth and bloom I do need to put the blooming and rooting fertilizer on here but they're planted in here thick that's gonna look amazing when they all start blooming